All right, everybody. Still working on these uh, Algebra 2 problems on complex numbers. So we are going to get them. You can keep working on them, doing another similar problem until you make sure you get it. We're in Algebra 2, Lesson 2, 5. And this is now problem three. So we're just ticking them off one by one here. We'll get them all done yet. So we were supposed to rewrite this in the completed square form. So the first way I like to start these off, and there's different ways to do it. I'm going to put the x squared minus 16x on the left, because that's what we're going to put into a perfect square. And I'm going to move this 27 to the other side. So that'd be a minus 27 when we subtract that on both sides. Some people write that like this, you know, I just drew the arrows to show that I'm doing it. I think you've done enough of those by now. You should probably understand how that's working. Um, then the next thing that I like to do for these, again, we've seen it in the last problems. We're going to split this into a square. And if we split it into a square, what we have to have is we've got a, this minus 16x has to be split evenly. So that would be like a negative 8x into the two sides. And then like we have an x and an x here for our x squared and a negative 8 and a negative 8 here. Um, so when you do that, in here, it's basically take this and divide by 2 to get what goes down there. But when we just did that right now, we also would have had a negative 8 times a negative 8 or a 64 also in the problem that would be from this negative eight, negative eight here. So because of that, we've also have to uh, make sure we do the same thing to both sides. So by writing it in this form, we've got a plus 64 that wasn't there. So we've got to add 64 over onto the other side also, which is gonna give us 64 minus the 27. I don't know, I'm thinking that's like 37 if I'm, if I'm looking at that correctly. 37 and 27 would be 64, I believe. And so I think that's the final equation that we're going to have here, x minus 8 squared. Again, that 8 was from half of the minus 16. And then I had moved the 27 over here. And this 8 squared, 64, I have to add on to the negative 27, which gives me a 37. So let's put that in, see if that's what it's looking for here. I feel pretty good about that, that that's what it's after, x minus 8. Shift 6 for a carrot and a squared up there. And we're arrow to the right to get out of the exponent. Equals and a 37. And let's see if, that's, if it likes it. Fantastic. That's all we're doing here. Remember, if you get stuck, you got the viewing example. Help me solve this on the bottom. Get more help. Um, I don't find all that much use in the get more help, but, and if you get it, when you get it done, similar question, if you're not sure that you really are doing it right yet, you can practice until you make sure you are. Ded dedication, discipline, determination. Once you've uh, set your mind to it, you can do anything. Don't forget you could use uh, YouTube, go find your own videos to help you understand these concepts. There's a ton of them out there. Anyway, stick with it. You got this.